Let's close in prayer. Our Father, we pray that you would give us this grand view of your work for us in Jesus Christ, in sending him to this earth, how he left the, uh, the palace, how he left the glories of heaven and came to seek and to save that which was lost, that he came to seek us and to die on a cross for us, that he may bring us to himself and bring us to heaven, bring us to the new creation in the future. And so we pray to help us to see our place, our part in that, in that grand work of redemption that you are involved in through your son. Help us to love our Saviour, help us to see him for who he really is, help us to see his glories and to delight in him, to turn our back on this world, on the things of this world, and seek him alone, to submit to him. And we thank you that he has overcome our hearts, the rebellion in our hearts, and brought us to trust him. So help us to see how he is gentle and lowly in heart, and help us to find that rest for our souls as we submit ourselves to him. And we thank you that we can look ahead to that great day when we will be presented spotless, glorious before the throne of God. And we can look ahead to that final marriage supper of the Lamb as Revelation uh, talks about, and that we can anticipate that great day. So help us to see the, the grand scope of all of this. Help us to find our identity in it, our identity in Christ and in him alone. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.